lost mind signs of a different kind We all together the better letters of which to find Who I am and man to man where I stand A fake legacy I dream whilst I'm slapping hands Got the crew, got the food, yes so what is new There's no better lifestyle than that of a bodyboarder. Being a bodyboarder, you get to travel to locations and places normal people wouldn't even know exist. See sights normal people can never imagine. And experience scenarios, both good and bad, normal people could never comprehend. Being in some of the world's most remote locations to witness the exact moment in time where the ocean greets the land. Surfing some of the most amazing creations of Mother Nature. There's no better feeling. People do various things to pass their time on this earth. But there is nothing better or more fulfilling in this world than bodyboarding. Till the end. Till the end.
Joe Clark from the Gold Coast, Australia. Welcome to my backyard. Change.
Uh, the waves on the Gold Coast, um, you know, they're totally different to your waves on the South Coast. Like, it's more raw energy, there's more power in the waves down there, you know, it's, it's more of an abrupt reef break and you get so much more speed, so much more power and heaviness to the, the waves and, you know, Gold Coast is super consistent, like we've always got waves to surf but when you go down there, it's, you know, it's for business, it's for, yeah, to get stuff done, you get, you do bigger airs and stuff like that down there and, um, I know, but, you know, Black Rock and places like Nuggan, you know, you've always got this defined air bowl that, you know, you can keep practicing on, you can keep hitting and stuff like that and it's a bit more repetitive than a beach break and I think that's better to do, you know, get the work done, job done.
My name's Lockie Cramsey, I'm 21 years old from the south coast New South Wales. I moved here just over a year ago now because I really wanted to push myself in bodyboarding. I wanted to test myself further in the bigger and heavier waves down here. Since I've moved down here I've found my passion grow stronger and stronger for the ocean.
Paradise. This is my first time chasing waves in Bali. I got to live like a king and score sick waves in beautiful water. It 
took me a bit to adjust to the culture, but after a few days, I realized that people here are very friendly, honest, hardworking, and reliable. They rely on the simple things in life and don't need much to keep them content and happy. If everyone in the world was like the Balinese, the world would be a better place.
I returned home from Bali, it was good to be greeted with fun waves.
heart Will you leave behind Are we all still Jacob Hine, 23, can't reside on the Gold Coast. South Australia has always been a destination that I've wanted to explore and experience some of the great ways it has to offer.
happy. Is that it? Fuck all, man. What's happening? Not much, eh? We're trying, we're trying no more. It's cold on the floor, it's cold on the floor. This house has never been the same as before. It's never felt warm, never felt warm. There's something moving through the windows and walls. I've seen it before, I've seen it before. You left me living with a lingering soul. How little you know, how little you know. We're standing at the foot of the path I had to go back, I had to go back I chose to travel as a lonely man So much that I like, so much that I like I'm always wishing I was walking that road Something I hope, something I hope I take it with me all the places I go How little you know, how little you know To rest, I need a love just like you gave. I haven't found it yet, found it yet. See where I am is where I want it to be. I know what I need, know what I need. And there are many different places to see. I know how to dream, know how to dream. So there's a wound and I'm moving slow Though it don't show, though it don't show I've got a hole when nothing grows How little you know, how little you know I only eat to fill me up I only sleep to rest Like a game My name is Max Dodgson. I'm 25 years old and I'm from Manly on the northern beaches of Sydney. My favourite wave would have to be Luna Park, hands down I'd say. Surfing that wave really gets the heart pumping, it's pretty addictive. Luna Park is a wave that I've been going to for a few years now. I'd say it's definitely one of the heaviest, if not the heaviest wave that I've surfed. The wave comes out of deep water and just focuses all its energy on this little patch of reef and once it gets to the end, which is a shallower section, it throws out some really thick, heavy bowels. It's pretty intimidating. It may not handle quite as big as some of the other famous slabs in Oz, but size for size it definitely holds its own. It's the kind of wave where you usually end up getting flogged a few times in the process of getting a good one. The wave breaks right in front of a big exposed rock ledge, so the wipeouts can be pretty brutal but you've just got to take the good with the bad and 
when you do manage to stroke into a good one, it's definitely worth it. When I first started surfing it on the big days when it was really rogue with all the washthroughs and clean up sets, I remember thinking to myself, what am I doing out here? I'm, I'm done with this wave, I'm not coming back. But when you manage to get a good one, it makes it worth all the wipeouts and all the beat downs and I guess that's what keeps me going back there.
Chris James. He's part of that early crew who first started to surf Luna Park when it first came on the map about 10 years ago. Over the years, it seems like a lot of riders have put in their time out there, but they tend to come and go. He's one of the last few that continue to surf the place on a regular basis and it really shows in his riding.
Ship stands. Unless you've stood under those cliffs, it's nearly impossible to describe the vibe you get from just being there. Standing on the jump off spot, looking at nothing but raw ocean thinking, what the hell is about to go down? It's pretty easy to get the most savage beat down out there, but at the same time, if you really want it, you can easily look down the biggest barrel of your life as well. Shippies is a really hard one to crack. I've walked in there five times in a row without even getting wet. Other times, the swell, wind and tides link up perfectly twice a week for three months. I guess that's the best thing about having the wave two hours from home. To live in Tasmania and to surf and chase the waves that I do with a small group of legends that I call my mates is definitely something very special. For me, this is home.
Ben Ackerman. 22. On the south coast. Been bodyboarding since I was 16 years of age. My future plans for bodyboarding at the moment, couldn't really tell you what they are. I'm loving what nature's throwing at me, the adventures I've been going on, people I've been meeting along the way. Often people ask me if I get scared in the surf. What's the craziest situation I've put myself into? To be honest, once the adrenaline kicks in, all rational thoughts go out the window, and I'm 100% committed with no room for hesitation.
Recently I did a trip to Tahiti. The few people I told about it put so much doubt into my mind. They made me think I was going into the impossible. Wouldn't be able to pursue the dream of getting that 10 foot trophy barrel that I've always dreamed about since being a little kid. Sometimes you've got to put the fear behind you, put your mind over matter, put your head down and just go for it. to 